Come here. Skyline from Grand Brew to Trick or Treat. Okay, probably not a hell of an effort today. It's got my fastest time of the year. Wasn't fast enough to be the fastest time of the year though, unfortunately. Let me go third.
Why are you bumping into me? Super nice weather today. This section of the skyline has a lot of cool features, insane views, and rock formations. same direction the, the grizzly run skyline all through these sections <clears throat> Snow after the last snow, but it looks like most uh, melted. corner there's just no good way around it no way around it shoe dabber coolest views the picture of me and Robert Hesink doing a skyline ride after the tour of California one year right up here rocking my tinker gloves they sent me they're sweet Made in Spain. Look at this view.
Cerdo, Gonio, San Bernardino, Bitchin' Views. Ah! Perfect day, perfect weather. Teton section of Skyline. This was actually here long before Skyline. And we used to race on it. Get us off two and ten for a minute in both directions over the you know course of the Norbas and stuff back in the day. And then it got adopted in as part of Skyline. We did a couple minor reroutes. And the cool thing is when you come over this side you get a you get a spot big bear lake nice view of big bear lake on this side the view on both sides Let's see big bear lake Two and ten for a minute. And we'll head down and go do trick or treat. And the final section of skyline to, to the west end of two and ten, right? Two and seventeen junction. spectacular fall riding in Big Bear. It's like 60, sunny and warm, cool breeze, clean air. Good. Not too many people out here. Pretty, very quiet midweek. This is the entrance to Trick or Treat, which was made by a local guy who was a janitor at the Hank you know, Elementary School. But he was a motor rider, and his brother built a lot of these early trails, and they finished it on Trick or Treat, which is just Halloween, so it seems fitting to knock it out. Man's in the tunnel. Some fixed in buff brush. Got some cool features. Hard left hander right here back uphill. Gotta be ready for it. over here on the right.
cool rock formations. needles and leaves everywhere right now out of your flesh to be super sharp. back 
trying to be consistent, training, keep my mental health in a good place, and just enjoy whatever I can do. E-biker. experience so they can get deeper faster with less effort with less skill I really don't have a problem with them it's just there are some issues and that was the whole western skyline this is a beautiful section right here too this canopy of trees and everything and as you can see I'm working on that beard. Working on the beard. Come here, Riley. Riley's on fire today. I'm gonna take her to the watering hole. So when you come off this east end, there's a bitchin' watery hole just up from this canopy of trees here. Super pretty area. Yeah, and the whole e-bike thing, I don't know. You know, what are they gonna do about it? I see almost as many e-bikes as I do regular bikes these days on the trail. Supposedly they're illegal, but there's really no enforcement. So, I mean, I guess if you had a head-on collision with an e-bike, e-bike would definitely be at fault just because he's not allowed to be there. But I don't know. They're going to have to figure out which way they're going to go on this in, uh, and just enforce it. Legalize them or enforce them being illegal. And I've, you know, I've raced e-bikes quite a few times now. They're fun, especially racing them. That's super fun. watering hole this quarry hole this quarry hole is mine never was mike could have been mike mean old man mike anybody know what that's from the cook of cutters best drinking water around Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Get on your bike and ride. All right, so finished up trick or treat and the other stuff. But we're gonna hit what's called Lower Canyon Trail Descent. And I'm gonna hit the A line. This is a, it's a little cut through, pretty sweet. I'll dig it up.
dog was interfering with my dog's uh, forward progress. Riley! Riley is a mean machine, a fit machine, and drinking gasoline. And you can watch her motor run. She's a one bad mouth. With a honey stinger cocktail. She don't need no stinking bike. And if you let her, she will show you up nice. She's so fit right now. So, lower cabin 89 descent. Some pretty cool little features over here. Excuse me. This is where the upper and lower split. We can go right there, go up, upper cabin 89, or go left and go down lower cabin 89. Cinder's almost sliding sideways. Whoa, another big drifter. Oh, big dropper. Riley's got the... Cheater line. You know, I can coast. She really can't coast. I got gears. She doesn't have gears. So pretty in here right now. Pine needles and all the leaves. Fall colors, you know, come on. Wow, I'm surprised you found some more gas. People cut some of these corners and stuff. I don't know why. It's so cool just to ride the actual line, even if it is a little bit slower. I mean, if you're really that in a Strava, are you gonna cut a cool section? Because it's all about your number more than actually riding the ride trail. The symbol movement. Just screws up the trail too because then people hikers don't know where to go. I don't know what's the actual trail. People cutting it so much. Now we're 
bottom of cabin it's about to go on the bottom of uh pine knot this is the right hand turn in the grizzly when people start cussing my name very last time we're going left but you go right there and you go pine knot to end of the grizzly 100 and that is painful you got like a two and a half mile climb at the end of 100k the 10,000 feet of climbing yeah you're hurting by then that's for sure and this bike's looking good it's on rails you know i'd love to say it was just riding but man it's reality Whole bottom of pine knot blown out. There's not one line, there's like 25 lines now. We got rerouted like three times and no one knows where to go anymore. It's a big mess. I just go the most best way I can really keep it without blowing the trail up. So many hikers and people just cutting and then it's all messed up. Pine knot campground. Hello, she's friendly. She won't even. Beautiful.